To the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to talk about controlling a pair of NeoPixel rings from a single microcontroller. So this is a pair of prop goggles that I have, and I have two 16 NeoPixel rings. It's being controlled by a Gemma, which is an M0-based microcontroller, and I have a little LiPo battery tucked inside of there. This code from our good friend Toddbot uh, allows us to do a very succinct bit of code that gives us this nice spinning NeoPixel effect on two separate uh, NeoPixel rings, and you can see they're going in opposite directions. So the key things are we're importing some libraries, board, time, NeoPixel, and random. And then I'm setting up, we're used to setting up a NeoPixel strip. Here we got one called LEDs L for left. And the command there is NeoPixel.NeoPixel on board D1. 16 is the number of NeoPixels and a base brightness. Then I have a second one. So this one here, LEDs R, is NeoPixels on, I've said board D2 here, and I've got 16 NeoPixels on that one as well. Then we have a variable called I, which is used to step through each NeoPixel. And we have a value to dim each subsequent NeoPixel. So this is what allows us to have this nice sort of glowing trail. Uh, then we have an I color to start with. And then in the main loop, we actually have a pair of these uh, sort of multi-bracketed. It's like a for loop inside of a for loop. And what this does is it says for the left LEDs, we go from 0 to uh, a maximum of i, which is our starting variable, minus that dimming by amount. And uh, that is inside of this max loop, so we never go lower than 0. So we start at 255, then we're going to subtract 50 from it, subtract 50 from it, subtract 50 from it, till we get to 0. We are also iterating through all of the 16 NeoPixels in this case. And then we're doing a slight uh, change in the code here. It says J is the length of the NeoPixel strip minus I minus 1. And that's what allows us to go backwards on that other strip. Iterate through that, change it to whatever the eye color is, and then show the NeoPixels. We then pause for a tenth of a second or a hundredth of a second and continue on. And so this is how you can control two separate NeoPixels from a single microcontroller inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.